What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use the ab roller. Very simple exercise, engaging the abs and the core. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need some padding because this is kind of tough on the knees. You're going to begin with your body at about 90 degrees, hips bent. You're going to make sure that you're not arched too much as a sort of a cow position or not arched too high. Make sure that your body is going to be flat, engaging the abs before you even begin. Your shoulders are going to be directly over the wheel. From here, you're going to extend out. Coming out, and return. Now, a couple things I'm doing here. First, I'm starting by engaging the wheels going forward first. I'm not going to be pushing from my hips. I'm going to be pushing from the roller. So from here, my roller goes forward. As that happens, my hips are going to go forward. I extend out, going out even further, stretching to low position and bring it all the way back up. To do this, I'm using the abs, I'm using the torso, I'm using the hip flexors. Very good exercise for strengthening the, all the muscles of the core, the abs, lower back. It's a great upper body developer as well. The second phase of this movement, you know, I'm gonna have you come forward. This time I want you to have the hips straight. You're gonna lock the hip joints. So I'm not gonna be engaging the muscles of the, top of the hip joints and all the lower back and the glute muscles. From here, you're gonna extend straight out. A little different movement. Again. Now, the difference between those two exercises, with the hip joint not being bent, I can't use those muscles because the hips are not in movement. When a joint is straight, you can't use the muscles of that joint. But if I'm going back and forth with the movements, but as I'm doing the exercise previously, I'm using the muscles of the hip joints as far as the thigh muscles and the abs to do this exercise. But when, you, when the hip joints are locked, I can't use those muscles. Now I'm using more of the torso, the upper arms, the triceps to bring it back up. It's just a variation. It's similar to an exercise called a pullover where you're using a lot more upper body strength. You're still engaging the core and the torso and the abs, but you're doing more upper body when the hips are locked as opposed to when the hips are bent. So there's two variations of the one exercise that we're doing. As always, I make it look so easy. When you're beginning, you're gonna start with the knees bent, shoulders directly over the ab roller. And from here, you're only gonna allow your body to go forward a few degrees, and you're gonna come back. You wanna feel the abs engage. You wanna feel the upper body engage, just a few degrees. So when you first start this exercise, you're not gonna lunge all the way, just a few degrees. And you're gonna do 10 repetitions. Now if you can accomplish that pretty easily, you can extend that a little bit. Yeah, going a little bit further. And you're gonna do 10 repetitions. And then if you're good at that, bring it down. 10 repetitions. So that's 30 repetitions you're gonna do on this movement. 30 repetitions total, so three sets of 10 repetitions. Now, when you're doing the second phase of the movement, you'll have the hips locked in this position. And from here, again, only a few degrees, going forward and back, a few degrees. 10 repetitions, extend it a little bit further for 10. And then you're gonna extend all the way for 10. So you have two exercises you're going to do, very basic exercises. 10 repetitions for three sets on your first exercise, 10 repetitions for three sets on your second exercise, and you're done. Other variations you'll probably see people do or going in different directions, you can you know, take them over in different directions as you do it. I don't do those, but you'll see those variations there. So that's a very simple exercise, of ways to use the ab roller. So I know you've got one at home. Pull it out and let's get busy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.